Hey everyone, welcome to that Metal Customs. We're finally getting back to our little Mustang convertible project. Um, sorry for delay, things happen. I've got some parts ordered for it. Got a new fuel pump, fuel filter, and of course grommet for the gas tank. You drop a gas tank out of one of these, and I, any of them. Anytime you drop a gas tank to put a fuel pump in the car, and it's this design, where the tube comes into the tank, there's a rubber grommet there, always order you a new rubber grommet. The chances are, by the time you take that out and put it back in, that grommet's going to have some dry rot, and you're going to have a leak. So, got them ordered. I have no oil pump ordered. I think I'll take care of that issue. And order something else and I can't remember what it was. Well, I don't know when it gets here and we'll install it. Oh, yeah, IAC motor so she'll light them correctly. Always important. Alright, well enough of that. What I want to do today is see if we can get this hood scoop installed or get as much done as we can done get done to it today. If y'all didn't see the previous episode where I fabricated this hood scoop and the side scoops, uh, run back through the playlist and catch that. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Alright, now on to our hood. Alright, first thing we've got to do is decide where we want this scoop. And I think roughly about where it's setting is where I'd like to put it. So let's get us some marks and get this thing centered up really well. And yes, it is acceptable to use the hammer to hold down the end of your tape. Especially when you're like me and I'm working in by myself. Alright, that hood is exactly 49 and a half inches across. So let's get our center, which is going to be 24 and three quarters. So 24 three quarters. Good mark there. All right. All right the back of our scoop is twenty-three. So that'll be eleven and a half. The front of our scoop is twenty two. There's our eleven. Front of a hood, same forty nine and a half. Right, we've got these lines lined up, and that one lined up just perfect. So we'll go nowhere. Now, we know that's where we want her. So let's go ahead and just take our marker and run around her. What I'm going to do right here where this crease is. Mark and right here do the same. What I'm trying to do, <coughs> some of y'all know these hoods, this is just a factory hood. It's basically a piece of sheet metal with fiberglass on the bottom, fiberglass on the top. I'm trying to grind this top fiberglass off where this will sit down in it. So after we get it molded in there, it'll have a more 
nice level look instead of a big hump up getting to the scoop, if you see what I'm saying. That angle will come up to approximately there. Scoop off and out of the way. I'm gonna grab me a straight edge here. Or a straight enough edge. down here get both of these the same. We'll call both of them nine inches. And we'll run that line across there. Alright, there's our outline. Basically we need to grind all of this in here, all of this in here, in that square in the back right there. But before we start grinding, go ahead and get our windows up, and get our top up, so we don't fill our interior full of dust. All right, get all my windows rolled up, get my top back up, and uh, put this over here just to help keep some of the dust and crap off the windshield and stuff. Uh, I pick these up, it's your tablecloths. Get them at the Dollar Tree for a buck a piece, and they're perfect for covering up stuff, or if you got a, like I used this when I was painting on the Ranger to tape up the inside of the bed that I already painted black so it wouldn't get green on it. For a dollar, you can't beat it. Uh, guys, I'm using a basic old, uh, what was this, Duramax grinder, a little $30 grinder picked up at uh, O'Reilly's. I'm going to do for this job here. And like I say, we just want to go past this first uh, bit of fiberglass down to the uh, sheet metal. Just want to give y'all a quick look. Yeah, when you're grinding this fiberglass, get you a face mask. You want to breathe this stuff. Basically, this is what you're cutting out of the hood right there. You can see, I got that one cut out. Now I'm fixing to go and finish all that off. Then we'll set our scoop in place and see how it sits down in there. All right, let's try our scoop. Now that we got her all cut out. Oh, well, would you look at that? See, that's what I was wanting. Wanted to set down in some of it. Get it back lined up. That one, there's that one. Now that's gonna be fantastic. Start with our fiberglass. Fiberglass will come right down upon the scoop. Instead of coming up, it could come over and even. And when we get through, it should look like the scoop belongs there, not like somebody duct tapes some stupid scoop to the hood and it's not smooth and everything. Well, good deal. We definitely want to do a little bit of prep. 
And it's going to be a little time consuming. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and sand all of this in here that you really won't see much of. And also the underneath of the scoop, I want to clean it and go ahead and get that painted black. I think I've got some uh, black uh, paint slash primer over there. And that'll do the trick for that part of this situation, for, for that part of this project. And that's what I'm talking about with a bit of focus. Anyway, getting all that down in there, painted with that black uh, primer slash paint. Because once everything's said and done, we won't be able to get up in there, but just a little bit. But we'll be able to fog our real paint up in there whenever we go to paint the car. And as far as the under of the scoop, we got it well with the paint bomb. Yeah, that'll work. Not too shabby. Well, our paint's pretty much dry. And uh, once again, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to take and drill holes and pop rip with that in there. I forgot to have a stainless steel. It'll burn up every bit I got, even as thin as it is. It'll take me forever. So, it's a good alternative, no stress. What I'm going to do is take my file sander here. I got some 80 on it. And go ahead and sand around my edges. And then I'm going to mix up some fiberglass. We'll put it down in here. And also, see that? That would be a rattle later on. So we're going to get some glass up underneath that too. Then we'll get some fiberglass laid in here. On that side. And we'll catch this little bit of edge right here. And then we'll bring our scoop in. And set it down on there. Get it into place. Then we can come back with fiberglass over the top. That will basically sandwich the scoop inside of the hood pieces and that won't go nowhere. But let me go ahead and uh, off camera get this all sanded down and get this prepped and ready to glass it in. Alright, we got everything ready. So let's get us some uh, fiberglass mixed up here. Be enough to get us started. Yeah, I don't really want to mix this stuff up real hot because need it dry slow and I'm gonna have a lot of working to do with it so see how this turns out looking all right maybe we can put a little more in it I think that looks pretty good right there Down in there. 
Alright. Take a look at it, make sure that's where we want it. Keep it straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, let's quickly mix us up some more. Alright, now I've got a little more out here. I want to get all this done at once so that it all sets up together. I think I have a uh, better bond that way. Alright, not looking too bad. Let's do that spot over there later. fiberglass in. Get these nasty gloves off. Let me bring y'all in closer so you can get a good look at that. Yeah, I gotta leave the hammer on there to push that down. But once they dry, that'll be fine. Alright, now, basically a waiting game. Got to give this a uh, good time to dry, and I want to let it dry overnight. It's probably about, I don't know, 3, 3.30ish in the afternoon today. So I think overnight it should be fine because the weather is decently warm. That way it lets all that fiberglass underneath there dry. And of course it's touching this stuff here too. So everything will bond together, like you say, sandwich it in there. So next, once everything's good and dry, we'll come back with our straight line sander again and just run down through here, knock off the sharp edges. Then we'll come back with the fiberglass and get and smooth everything out nice and even. We'll be coming over to the hood scoop probably to about right here because that thing really did set down in there very well. But we won't try to get that Nice and level, straight across, and get that contour today. Well, it's next day. Everything's set up nice, dry, and well, and set up. First thing I'm going to do is take the key straighter. I can see the side spots off of here before I go with the sand. Got the cheese straighter work done. Put on the high spots, not down. Now I start with all the background noise. Uh, it's raining off and on, temper drop, and crank up some heat, so it is what it is. We're going to take the straight line center, go ahead and get all this, this again. We've got a pipe glass center down where we want it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera right there, but basically where the hood is, where the scoop is, like a dip. So what we're going to do is mix this up some body filler and go through here and see if we can get that all leveled out.
So a pillar's head down enough to dry. Pretty sure it's going to have to put a on there. I'm going to head to the file and get it a little bit. Now we'll take some more of the 80 grit, send it down, and see what we've got to work with. Can you show us where both spots are once we get it all set it down? Alright, got my sanding done. And hopefully the camera's picking this up. I'll bring it closer here in a minute so y'all can see. But you can see where the low spots are because they're darker because it didn't get the flat sander didn't hit them. Got a little better view there. You can see how that's light colored there. Because that's tapered flat with the hood itself. Then how this is dark. So all the dark spots down through here are low spots. So I mix this up some more filler. Get all these low spots basically both of these sides. Back, just that up there. A little spot right there at the middle. Back, looking pretty good. But uh, off camera, so I don't make this like a very long video. I'll go ahead and mix down some filler and get it on there. Let it sit dry and then we'll work it again and see what we got. Alright, John. We got it where we want it. We did have to go back and put a little bit of filler in a couple of spots. You can tell because they're darker. It makes it really hot. It dry up and I'm get it sandy. Let me let y'all see what we got going on. As you can see, everything's level coming off the hood to the scoop. Really happy with the way that turned out. So now, all I like is uh, I'll probably pull out the DA and different grades of paper until I get around, uh, I don't know, probably stop at 400 and I'll come all the way out of here. Then I'll clean it up and just uh, flat black that section for now until we get ready for paint. Uh, who knows, it could be late in summer. Because without money, y'all know how that is. At least that, we've got that taken care of, like say, we're finishing up, it's a little pile of sand in. Clean it, tape it off, spray some flat black on it, and let it rock and roll. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the hoop scoop installation. Uh, on the next video, you will get to see it uh, in some flat black paint and we'll try to do the side scoops next time. Well again, thanks for watching. If you would, throw me down some comments uh, if you're able. Hit us up on our Patreon, show some support there. It's really appreciated. Please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.